Welcome to my channel, Living Linux. In this video, I want to show you how to install the Joshua Rig Ubuntu image for Rockchip devices to the NVMe. Um, most of these Rockchip RK3588 devices, they have a M.2 NVMe slot. The reason why I finally did this is that I'm still struggling with the Argon 1 version 3 for the Raspberry Pi 5. I got my replacement case and I can boot the Raspberry Pi 5 with it, but it doesn't recognize the NVMe drive. So I wanted to test if the NVMe drive itself was working or not. So in my case, it's a Samsung SSD 980. So I've tested it with my Racha Rock 5B. Now here we have the GitHub page from Joshua Rick and Well, here they, uh, on the first page, it's explained how to run it from an SD card. But if you dig a little bit deeper, then you can review the documentation. So in my case, Ubuntu 24.04. And here it says, how to do things when you are customizing things. If you scroll down a bit, um, it explains how to install the U-boot to the SPI flash. And below that, you see that you can also uh, install your currently running system onto an NVMe. So this assumes that you have booted from, for instance, the micro SD card, that you have installed an NVMe drive, and all you have to do is boot the Ubuntu image and execute this command. So here you can see that actually I'm only running on the NVMe drive now, I'm not running from micro SD. Uh, so depending on how much data there is uh, on your currently running system, this can take several minutes and once the copying to the NVMe drive is done, then you have to install U-Boot to, uh, oh, sorry, that's not, uh, yeah, this one. Install U-Boot to the SPI flash. And once you're done, then you can shut down so your SBC, remove the micro SD card and boot from the NVMe drive. And with the U-boot on the SPI flash, you can still boot other images from your micro SD card. So uh, again, coming back to the Argon 1 version 3 for the Raspberry Pi 5. Um, yeah, it looks like I don't have much luck with it. Um, so with this replacement case, uh, I did get a little bit further. But yeah, I'm still having issues with the M.2 NVMe slot. Well, the good part is, is that um, 
I know that the NVMe drive itself, that one is working. So perhaps I'm going to try with a different type of NVMe drive. Uh, yeah, I'll keep trying. So as a side effect, um, I finally installed an image on the NVMe drive for the Raja Rock 5B. So that's all for now. And I hope to see you again in my next video.